Hello again. Welcome back to our fourth day of reading Thunder Cake by Patricia Palacco. So yesterday you focused on the beginning of the story. Today we're going to focus on the middle of the story. So your assignment will be to draw a picture and write a sentence or two about what happens in the middle of the story. So yesterday we left off on this page right here where they scurry towards the back door to go get their ingredients. So let's pick up the story there. We were by the barn door when a huge bolt of lightning flashed. I started counting like grandma told me to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then the thunder roared. Ten miles. It's ten miles away, Grandma said as she looked at the sky. About an hour away, I'd say. You'll have to hurry, child. Gather them eggs careful, like she said. Eggs from mean old Nellie Peckin. I was scared. I knew she would try to peck me. I'm here. She won't hurt you. Just get them eggs, Grandma said softly. The lightning flashed again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I counted. Nine miles, Grandma reminded me. Milk was next. Milk from old Kit Cow. As Grandma milked her, Kit Cow turned and looked mean right at me. I was scared. She was, She looked so big. Zip went the lightning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I counted. Boom! went the thunder. Eight miles away, child, Grandma croaked. Now we have to get chocolate and sugar and flour from the dry shed. I was scared as we walked down the path from the farmhouse through tangleweed wood to the dry shed. Suddenly, the lightning lit the sky. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, I counted. Boom, 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 crashed the thunder. It scared me a lot, but I kept walking with Grandma. I'd like to take one minute and talk about a dry shed. What do you think, after reading this book so many days and looking at it, what do you think a dry shed is? I like some of those ideas. So instead of having a pantry like we have now, so in my kitchen, I have a pantry and I open the doors and inside I have all my sugar and my flour and my cans of soup and my chocolate and anything that is a dry ingredient that I don't have to keep in the refrigerator, I keep in that pantry. So I'm guessing they must not have had a pantry. They must have had a special shed that they kept their things in, that they kept it dry. Because remember, it said the air was damp with humidity. Ooh, because it was so warm out and the storms were coming. And we don't want those things to get to our items. And in the house, they could because they didn't have air conditioning back then like we did now. So it probably got really hot and damp inside of there. So they had a nice, cool, dry shed where they would keep all of those ingredients and they would go get it from there. So it was kind of like their pantry that they had. Another jagged edge of lightning flashed as I crept into the dry shed. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, I counted. Crackle, crackle, boom, come, boom, the thunder bellowed. It was dark and I was scared. I'm here, child, Grandma said softly from the doorway. Hurry now, we haven't got much time. We've got everything but the secret ingredient. Three, 
overripe tomatoes and some strawberries, my grandma whispered as she squinted at the list. I climbed up high on the trellis. The ground looked a long way down. I was scared. I'm here, child, she said. Her voice was steady and soft. You won't fall. I reached three luscious tomatoes while she picked strawberries. Lightning again. One, two, three, four, five, I counted. Kabang, boom, boom, the thunder growled. We hurried back to the house in the warm kitchen and we measured the ingredients. I poured them into the mixing bowl while Grandma mixed. I churned butter for the frosting and the melted chocolate. Finally, we poured the batter into the cake pans and put them into the oven together. Lightning lit the kitchen. I only counted to three and the thunder rumbled and crashed. Three miles away, Grandma said, and the cake is in the oven. We made it. We have a real thunder cake. And that is where I'm going to stop for today. Draw me a picture and write me some sentences telling me about what happens in the middle of this story. <laughs>